So we uh, did the bottom melons about two days ago and uh, today I uh, wired all the cells in series and connected them to the inverter and uh, charged them. Uh, this is the inverter that I have used. It's a 24 volts, 4.2 kilowatt inverter made by ECG Solax. We have the inverter. Um, the lower part of the screen we have the battery, 26.7 volts. To the right we have the house with the consumption. Right now we don't have any consumption. And to the left we have the grid. Inverter is connected to the grid. So, um, what is most important, at least for me, uh, when it comes to these uh, hybrid inverters, first of all, it is the consumption from the battery. We have attached to the battery bank a 500 amps shunt, and to the shunt we have connected the Coulomb meter. It's a TK15H. Uh, as you can see, in the left upper corner, the battery is 100%. Uh, the cells uh, have 130 amp hours. We are at 129. In the lower right corner, we have the consumption from the battery of the inverter. It is 38.5 watts. It's, um, it's a good consumption. Uh, I mean, could have been lower, but uh, also it could have been much higher. Uh, again, the voltage, 26.6 volts. And the current drawn from the battery by the inverter is 1.44 amps. This is a very precise instrument, and it shows us how much power we're taking from the battery. On the other hand, very important, for a hybrid inverter, the consumption from the grid. So inverter is connected to the grid through the AC in and it's drawing 3.2, 3.3 watts from the grid, which again is very, very good. Other than that, uh, very important is the MPPT performance of the inverter. Today I charge the batteries using a 420 volts open circuit uh, string of uh, photovoltaic panels. And uh, I could measure the performance of the ECG Solax inverter against the performance of a very good uh, on-grid inverter. So I could switch the um, string of panels through a circuit breaker from the on-grid inverter onto the hybrid inverter. And um, the hybrid inverter, the ECG Solax, uh, had a good performance. Basically, it was the power that the on-grid inverter was feeding to the grid minus the losses of converting that power into, ba into the batteries. So, uh, I'm very happy with this inverter. And uh, for a 24 volt inverter, 4.2 kilowatt of power, it's, it's uh, quite good. Most of the 24 volt in inverters, they have powers um, around uh, 2500 uh, watts, uh, 3000 watts. And uh, in the upper part of the inverter, we have the, the red light. Red light shows us that we are taking now power from the batteries when we are charging the batteries uh, through the photovoltaic panels, it turns into a magenta. And uh, when it connects to the grid and charging from the grid, it turns into blue. So um, for those of you that are interested in this kind of inverter, I will um, leave in the description of the video 
a discount code that you could uh, use online when purchasing it. Um, now, one more thing about the batteries. Um, after the uh, charging was complete, I measured again the batteries and the um, difference in the voltage was only 5 millivolts between the lowest and the highest voltage of uh, the cells uh, only 5 millivolts you have to take into consideration that I didn't use a BMS during charging eventually I will install a BMS onto this battery bank but just for the charging after I did the top the bottom balance uh, two days ago after the full charge uh, the difference in voltage is only 5 millivolts so this again shows us that the bottom balance was um, efficient and uh, very soon I will perform a full discharge of the battery bank and again when they are discharged uh, I will measure uh, the voltage of each individual cell so um, yeah I'll come back with another video later thanks for watching and stay in touch